oh my gosh, I can't make it to the gym or I can't afford a gym membership. Today, we're gonna go over the top excuses or reasons or however you wanna look at it. And I'm gonna give you an explanation of how you can make it happen. So if your schedule has changed, if you're super busy, if you're lacking sleep, if you're broke or if you lost motivation, then this video is for you. So your schedule has changed and this is becoming an obstacle for you attending the gym. Now we understand that as seasons change, our schedules are gonna change. When you transition from fall to winter, a lot of different things are happening. For us, right now it's heavy swimming, right? We have four nights a week that we're going out for swimming. We have one night for engineering, and then I like to spend at least one night with my kids, plus I wanna spend time with my wife. But in the summertime, we don't have any of those events except for the main ones with the family, but we don't have swimming three times a week and we don't have engineering once a week. And so our schedules have changed. So here's how you're gonna be able to fix that problem, is that you need to sit down with your people and you need to make out a new schedule. We all know it's about proper planning and we all know that we all have the same 24 hours in the day, but yet there's other people out there that are able to make this happen with less time. So time is really of what you make of it. So what you need to do is you need to sit down and you need to plan out all the new changes with your people. The people that have the most and get the most done are the people that are the most prepared. And so for you, that's all we need to do is sit down with your people and start preparing. Now with schedule changes, you're getting super busy, but we got to understand that something's got to give because you have 24 hours in a day and you need to find a way to make it happen. If weight loss, fat loss, building muscle, or just overall health is of importance to you, which it should be, then missing the gym is not an option. This needs to be a non-negotiable and you need to make it happen regardless of how busy you are. You need to maybe change up your schedule. So if you were normally a 5 a.m. person, but you are at events until nine because kids don't get on the ice until eight or whatever it is, you require a little bit more sleep. And so maybe you won't be able to be calling yourself a 5 a.m. person anymore. Maybe for a short little while, you gotta come and work out at 4.30 or 5.15. But either way, you might have to shuffle things around, which leads to my next one is where you're lacking sleep. Now, the simple solution, honestly, is just get to bed earlier. How many of us are sitting on our phones and we're just scrolling through little TikToks or YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, and next thing you know, an hour and a half has gone by and we don't feel any more rested than when we did lay down. So the simple solution is just to get rid of those electronics and just see what you do with your time. It's gonna be uncomfortable. You're probably just gonna to wanna to go to bed. So that's my first recommendation. But if you are lacking sleep and it is making you tired, then you have to utilize the days that you have off to make up for those sleep. So you would think that you would work Monday through Friday. And so Friday nights, you wanna stay up late because Saturday is the only day that you get to sleep in, but you know you have a kid's event, so you're not really getting to sleep in. All you're doing is just staying up late for no reason. If the Friday comes about, instead of looking forward to spending more time on your phone or getting caught up on your Netflix series, maybe you focus on getting caught up on your sleep. So go to sleep like you would normally Monday through Thursday. So Friday, if you normally go to bed at 10, but you don't have to wake up until eight, whereas you normally wake up at five in the morning, that's an extra three hours of sleep. And even just that one day of extra sleep is gonna make a big difference on how you feel when Monday comes around. I'm broke, you don't have the money, and you can't afford your gym membership. But yet, if I looked at most people's Amazon, or if I looked at their Lululemon purchases, or even Sheen, right? Like, everybody is buying stuff that they think they need when in, in fact they don't need it. And even if you got a discount, or it was on sale, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Right? If you're buying four or five things at 10 bucks plus paying shipping each week, you're looking at like 50 to 60 bucks minimum to just buy these things that you're just gonna end up putting in a drawer, wear it once, and it's useless. Whereas the gym membership is something that you can go to five, 
six days a week. And going to the gym is all benefiting your mind and your body and your spirit. Whereas just putting on this piece of clothes, if it looks good, so what? It lasts for as long as you're wearing it. Whereas when you're working out on your body, that's something that you wear full time. So what should you work on more? buying these clothes that are just hiding up the thing that you should be working on or should you just work on the thing that you know you should be doing and get those results and never mind all this unnecessary spending and just focus on okay the gym membership comes before my little purchases on amazon sheen or lululemon and last but not least is that you might have lost motivation now the thing about motivation is that I could wake up unmotivated and five seconds later I could be super motivated. Five seconds later I'm unmotivated. Motivation is a matter of your momentum and your consistency. You won't need motivation if you have momentum. So if you're doing something consistently like waking up and brushing your teeth, do you need momentum or motivation to brush your teeth. No, that's just something that you do every single day. So the best thing that you can do is never fall out of the habit. Never give yourself an opportunity to miss a workout. Even if you're sore, even if you're tired, even if you're busy, even if your schedule changes, as long as you are consistent, you will never need motivation again. Now what I've done is put together a seven day cleanse program. So in the description, you're gonna see that there's a link called the Fit Club Cleanse that actually works. All you gotta do is click that button and it's gonna bring you right over to the site where you're gonna get access to the seven day cleanse program. My recommendation is that you start it on a Monday, but try this program, it's a great way to reset yourself and give yourself that little bit of boost that you need so that we get rid of all those excuses.